Deathly December is nearly upon us for Derby County. It starts tomorrow versus Sheffield Wednesday. And what a difficult run of fixtures Derby County have to face up until the end of December into that January period. Obviously, you've got to face the likes of Leeds United and West Brom and Burnley. There is a couple of games in there like Sheffield Wednesday and Pompey where I think Derby County can pick up some points. But why is this month going to be so difficult? We're going to get into that in just a moment, but make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my Derby County and gaming content coming on this channel. If you haven't noticed, we've got gaming content at 10am every single morning, rotating between GTA and Football Manager at the moment. So if you're interested in all of that, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Check out Kitbag down below, big discounts on some of your greatest products. Now, Derby County haven't had the greatest of runs in probably their most easiest of periods and it's going to be very difficult for Derby County going through December and for me I've labelled it deathly December with facing the likes of Leeds United twice you've got to face up to West Brom and Burnley and Portsmouth isn't going to be an easy task and neither is Sheffield Wednesday this weekend there's also the likes of Luton in there as well it's going to be very very difficult and with so many players not really performing to expectation it's going to be very very interesting to see how Derby County do do throughout the month of December now there's a few big questions for me and it mainly regards around style of play tactics and whether we're doing too much to complete to contemplate against the opposition you look at the way we set up on Wednesday night against Swansea City and ultimately it just wasn't right it didn't start right it never went right it was a very very poor performance and I think we've seen at times this season that Derby County have focused too much on the opposition and I think that's something which Paul Warren and Derby County need to deal with going into this December period I think we need a set structure a set style because once you get to when we're playing three times in a week you really struggle with those training days. You probably get one, maybe two at most before a game. And obviously one of them normally is a recovery session. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Paul Warren looks at this set of fixtures. And obviously, as we if you have not done so already, go and check out Kitbag down in the description. 30% off with code KICK. Shall we take a look at some of the items that they've got on sale? You look at some of the biggest clubs in the world, some of the best kits in the world, all on sale right now. Kids, adults, everything is available. There is also some Derby County stuff on sale right now. If we do just go and check that out, let's take a look at what's on sale for Derby County. And as you can see, with some huge sales over for your Derby County lovers, this is what is available. Make sure you go down to the link in the description and check out Kitbag to see what deals you can get. Let's get into the video. As we edge closer to January, we're going to be looking at which players are hitting the right targets, which players aren't, and who's going to move on. Now, going through into this deathly December... You're going to see uh, the likes of Tom Barkays and step into the team. Corey Blackett-Taylor will get another opportunity. Obviously, Kane Wilson at the moment playing at right back. You could see the likes of Joe Ward, Nat Phillips, Sonny Bradley. Obviously, we've already seen the likes of Liam Thompson step into the team. So, it's one of those for me where we're going to see a lot of players moving in and, about, in and around the squad. Now, for me, the key part of this is making sure that we don't make too many changes at one time. I think we've been guilty over the course of the last few months of making too many changes when we've had a poor performance. I think it was six changes we made heading into the Swansea game. And yes, we was poor versus Preston North End, but ultimately I think some players didn't deserve to be dropped and we probably should have stuck a little bit to the same side to an extent maybe two or three changes understandable Jerry Yates couldn't play so there's one and then maybe two on top of that uh, but I just think we got it all wrong and that has to fall on Paul Warren and the changes that we make going into games obviously not always on Paul Warren because obviously you've got injuries to deal with fitness levels and things like that but a lot of it does fall on Paul Warren and as we head into this period facing up against the likes of Leeds who are sitting towards that top end of the table. It's going to be very, very difficult for Derby County to actually figure out what they're doing with themselves. Like Leeds United right now are currently sitting second in the division with 17 games played, 35 points on the board. They could be top of the division by the end of today. I believe they play today um, if they beat Blackburn Rovers. 
We've also got to face up against Burnley, who are third. There's West Brom in seventh. There's Luton Town, who are sitting in 16th. But we know the quality that they do possess. And obviously, the most important game is the one coming up next, which is Sheffield Wednesday. And obviously, I previewed that video yesterday. So if you do want to check that out, make sure you go ahead and do so. But you look at some of the players in this uh, Sheffield Wednesday side, the likes of Shea Charles, Barry Bannon, Windass, some really, really good players who are going to be able to make a difference. But that's Sheffield Wednesday. You look at the players that Leeds United have, you look at uh, Willie Nonto, you look at Aronson, Justin behind the striker, Peru, you look at Solomon, there's some really, really good players in that team. And a player who Derby County fans will know very well in Jaden Bogle. Now, obviously, when we go ahead to face the likes of Burnley, They've got an unbelievable side and have an unbelievable record uh, over the course of the last few weeks. They've lost, I think it's once, uh, in like their last 10, 15 games, something like that. It is unbelievable. And they had back-to-back -back defeats back in August, and that is the last time they lost back-to-back -back games. Their only defeat after that was a defeat to Millwall on the 3rd of this month. And obviously, every team in this division is beatable, and I think nothing is more Derby County than going to a, a Burnley or uh, playing against a Leeds or some or a West Brom or a Luton and picking up a really good victory and I think this is the problem as a Derby County fan that I have and it's the fact that we play a, we can go and beat the better teams 3-4-0 sometimes and we'll play someone in and around us and get absolutely battered like we did against Swansea where for 20-25 minutes Swansea City just played us off the park and played through us and Ultimately, that is what cost us the game. You can't be starting games like that in this division. And I think if we do play like that against a Burnley, a Leeds, uh, a Luton, a West Brom, I think we'll be 3-4-0 down in the first 25 minutes rather than just two that Swansea were. We did give ourselves an opportunity to get back into the game, but ultimately the deal had been done before we got there. Now, for me, the big talking point about this run of fixtures that Derby have across the course of the next few weeks is... Obviously, over the course of up until the 29th of December, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. That's a lot of points up for grabs, 21 points in the bag. And if you look at the league table, I'll be very surprised if we pick up more than 10 points in these games. And you look at the teams below us who are five points behind us to relegation, six points to 23rd. Uh, only uh, eight points, I think it is, to Pompey down at the bottom of the table. And we could quite easily slip down this league table, which certainly will open up questions for Paul Warren. Even if we do pick up 10 points, I'm not entirely sure of some other teams' uh, Christmas periods, but I certainly know that ours is very, very difficult. And, and for me, it is absolutely pivotal that we pick up three points versus Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday to come away with something and maybe build a little bit more of a gap to the likes of Hull City and QPR sitting just on those relegation positions right now, just five and six points behind us respectively. And ultimately, the big questions that have to be asked is, can Jerry Yates step up? Can Mendes Lang, Caden Jackson, big players who need to step up? You look at the likes of Kenzo in midfield, he's got to step up. Marcus Harness has to step up. And we're nearing a return of David Ozo, but it just seems to be getting pushed back and back. I believe Paul Warren said in his press conference it's probably going to be another couple of weeks, which is obviously very disappointing. But I'd rather him be back and ready and be able to play uh, the final 20, 25 games of the season than him come back and get injured again and be out for the next 10, 15 games. So ultimately it's one of those now. Obviously, with the likes of Tawanda Chiwa, Connor Washington, Joe Ward, they all played for the 21s last night. They're going to have a massive, massive job to do uh, to get back into this side with, obviously, the situation that's going on. But I don't necessarily think it's going to be difficult for them if they prove they're capable in training. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and gaming content on this channel. I'll catch you in the next one.